Yo, and welcome to the Ice Booge Daily Channel. This is an experimental tech and media brand, and for the last month we've been doing 20-minute daily videos. What's the channel really about? It's really about stuff like this. See the video, homeless guy shows off his failed product. Stuff like, uh-oh, where'd it go? So the theme of this recording is gonna be cognitive overload and it's gonna be all over the place because I'm cognitively overloaded. So homeless guy actually does have a cell phone. I know I say I don't have a phone, but effectively, you know, I don't have the whole package of a phone service, phone that works. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? like. I don't have a phone, but I have a phone that needs a battery and service. Colloquialism, I think it's not a lie, it's not a deception, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I went ahead and got a Mint Mobile seven day trial. It's worked before and it took like an hour of the phone power cycling itself if the battery is dead it just like power cycles and it can stay on for like two minutes so i had to do like the activation over like two or three boots and yeah so i was thinking like I'll, going way way back one of the first use cases of the notes app was just like actually recording notes and translating them into events and there's this thing called event sourcing where you translate it into you know your effective model for the application at a point in time maybe now the magic point in time of like the newest event sort of thing so like where even is everything so what works what doesn't work you know what i'm saying it's analogous in a lot of ways to what topics have I covered and not. That's even more expansive than just the focus domain of IT, right? So I've got all this equipment. Let me put something on the screen because I took a little sneak video inside the library just to show you what I'm working with. Um, I'll mute it to make sure that there's no background voices or anything like that. So camera, capture. It should be this latest one. Encoder overloaded, oh no. So let's see if this is gonna open. Open with VLC. So now it's probably gonna open twice. It's probably just going slow. Do, 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 do. I don't know why VLC usually opens plenty fast. Oh, uh, that's because that's this file. So it's probably trying to just, I don't know what it's doing. I don't wanna waste you guys' time with these things not working, but this is kind of thematic of what life of a homeless guy is like. There we go. And there's a copyright notice right there, just rode by in the background. So I'm somewhere new. All right, let me go to my screen. So there's a the Kindle, there's the car pewter, the wireless keyboard and mouse. I click over onto the Wi-Fi settings and you can't really read it, but it says car pewter go. That's my wireless router right there. So that's, you know, the networking hub. It's got ethernet, it's got a regular phone jack. It's got little lights for stuff, a WPS button. So yeah, I'm a homeless guy going into a library with this kind of setup. Do you think people don't notice that? Do you think the predators 
out there don't notice that and take note. Like, God protects the righteous, so it's pivotal that I'm always on my best behavior. Because now I'm sitting in a park where homeless people are constantly riding by with this on my dashboard, right? People see this, they take a mental note, don't they? That's a lot of stuff. Not that everybody can see this, like I said about the windows having a little bit of tint out of the factory, like I would see people looking too close, but sometimes people get really close and like approach the car and like comment on the plant or comment on this or that, you know? So people ride slow on the bike, you know? I'm not saying people are like out here watching me, oh my gosh. Everyone's the CIA. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's just like, huh, that's interesting. And then the car is recognizable with like the solar panel in the window and stuff. So if everyone, anyone just like sees it parked, it's like, and this is a small town. Pardon the lighting there. Um, maybe we can fix this. Let's be, let's be weirdos. Yeah. Let's cover our window. That's not weird. So that we can get the light to be focused correctly, right? Like, you guys see this? The topic of this talk is mental overload. But you see the gymnastics I also have to do just to make stuff work? Oh, that, then I just kind of, you know, and then stuff kind of like gets caught and... So it's like, what works, what doesn't? It's constantly on my mind. So like with this setup, this computer stuff right here, the laptop will not connect to that router on Linux, but it will on Windows. So if I want to, you know, use the wireless, I have to go to Windows and then do that. But then, you know, we've got a regular Ethernet port. That works. But then if I plug it in, stuff wasn't working when I tried to go into OBS, the software I'm using to record this. So I'm like, oh no, is this hub not powerful enough because it's an unpowered hub? Is the bus power not enough to power these four devices? Like, okay, so I've got a USB hub with four ports, but it can not power the four devices together. So I've got to plug the camera into a separate port, stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, I've got to remember all these intricate little details. And this is just going into having a computer. This isn't going into being a YouTuber, right? Man, I'm, such apologies for this lighting. There we go. Okay, so the light's coming from the top. So, you know, like I'm not trying to waste your time, but I'm giving you an example. Okay, so if we put a piece of cardboard onto the camera, the, the picture looks okay, right? Like <laughs> normal YouTubers that just have a stationary setup or like a mobile setup, you know, it's all good. So I've replaced a lot of components. This is the iPhone SE one. It's basically fine. I think I put iPhone iOS 12 on it last and cleared, you know, fresh install, fresh Apple ID, everything. So like this is basically ready to go. I just have to take it apart and put a new battery in. Like you can see it's had some some drops, like the cameras, they're not stock, so I don't know if they're quite as high quality. Even though this is, you know, like a 2016 era phone, it was good at the time and I think it should still be okay. But the cheap cameras that I got off eBay, like they're not official Apple cameras, they're just some third party thing that came with the toolkits to repair it. So we're 10 minutes in and we haven't really gotten to the talk, but the subject is cognitive overload and that's kind of the point. It's like, I gotta build up all this context. And then there's like analogous things. So I'm like setting up the context in one area and then bringing analogy over to something else. So like, you know, like cognitive overload is a component of being, becoming a person of interest by just having all this stuff. Cause it's like, you might have to remember like, okay, at this library, there's a lot of, you know, people with behavior problems, 
Whereas at this library, it's, you know, it's all rich people, right? So if I'm going to this one, I might not want to bring all this stuff in. I might just want to bring a very limited kit or we just ignore all that and say, God protects the righteous and I'm always righteous. So, you know, don't even ever worry about it. Should I just float through life not even ever worrying about anything? I'm sure I look extremely naive to people because in many ways I do operate that way already. Like, I'm just like, do or die. Like, we just gotta do this and whatever risk, that's an acceptable level of risk. So, like, another thing that I was thinking about as I was thinking about like the matrix of like okay this laptop can be used with this wi-fi router on windows but yada yada da, da, da. like all those are just superficial like things that are just operationally like does this work or not then there's other things like windows automatically downloads updates so this this trial that i got I was thinking I'd go onto the internet on this thing just to show that it works. So I've got 250 megabytes of internet for seven days and like 250 texts and 250 minutes of call or something like that. And then it'll cost, if it all ends up working out, it'll cost $90 for three months. So $30 a month for unlimited data. So then like, okay, how much data actually is that? It'll probably throttle after 30 gigs or something. Every video that I upload is 250 megs. So if I'm uploading one per day, that is 30 days. So, you know, basically 30 gigs over four, that's 15 gigs of data that I'll need, blah, 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 right? Like all the, you guys don't have to remember all this stuff, obviously, but you know who does need to remember it? I do. And you know who also needs these basic services like telephone and IT to not be homeless anymore? Well, if you look at Urban Camping Pro, basics are no electricity, no IT, etc. That's my open source book on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. And you can download a draft now. It needs editing, illustration, stuff like that. There's a $3 pre-sale offer, yada yada. Um, I guess I can put that in the description too, to the Gumroad page for it. Venmos and Patreons are great as well to contribute just to my general work. Because all this work is part of building a system for a sovereign life. My Patreon is sovereign IT systems. So, an analogy, finally, that I was going to make for this up oh, now we just found got someone staring at me right so it's like is it the computer stuff that they're staring at or is it the fact and they've got tinted windows so i can't see what they're doing now they can see me i can't see them but they were poking their head over here looking so it's like what was i going to make an analogy about again so what i was thinking about well i was you know when i took that little sneak video i was thinking about my matrix of like this works together that it's like, this is how people who are likable think about their social relations. They're like, this person has these resources, this person has these resources, you know, these pros and cons, these aptitudes, you know, it's like, they have like a picture of a matrix. I, I'm just, this was like a little download that I got. It's like the exact same matrix about all my IT stuff that I spend all my cognitive load cognitive energy on and get overloaded like the final bow tie with this is like you know narcissists lie narcissistic abuse psychopaths whatever they lie manipulate and eventually you know my my if you're righteous your enemy's bodies will float float down the river it's so like they got up the river and finally something knocked them out they weren't righteous they succumbed whatever they fell so like a narcissist will eventually get tripped up in their own lies, they say. So, like, you know, the social manipulator, whatever, who has this mental matrix that I got the download for, that's the same as like all my IT stuff. 
they're remembering like this person, that organization, this person, that organ. It's like X, Y, what's the relationship? Um, you can represent a matrix as a list of lists. So it's like, you know, every column cell, you know, sorry, every row and column is a cell. So each cell could have a description of the relationship between the two. So it's like, that's like the nodes and edges. You've got the same, I'm not describing this very well. I'm going fast. We've got less than five minutes left. But yeah, basically the nodes and edges can be defined in a matrix. And the, I think it would be the, down the diagonal, you'd have the, the X and Y as the same nodes. That'd be like the attributes of the node itself. And then on the X and Y, you'd have the to and from, and that'd be to this node, from that node. And so things that are going to it or from it would have the edge label. So I know I'm doing funny things with my hands too. Just, uh, you know, being a weirdo in the park, right? Just describing my IT, descri trying to bring in some useful matter that people who can actually relate to other people can relate to. Because I relate to IT extremely well. I need like one boss who brings me work. They worry about all the business stuff. I worry about the IT stuff. Perfecto. Like, so some people can think about human relations. You don't even have to be like a, a narcissist, psychopath, manipulator, whatever, to remember all this. It's called the customer relation management system, like your CRM. And... It's so funny because this person who was looking at me got into a car with tinted windows and like they're still there, I think. But that would be me if I got tinted windows on this car. So anyway, I know I'm cutting across subjects like crazy. But yeah, so I've got... For seven days, I've got a little bit of connectivity. I can't upload videos from it because every video uses the entire trial amount of data. But I can, I can check in on how the connectivity is at various places. I mean, I'll probably just do it. And I don't get paid again within seven days. So the longer I wait, the less I'll want to do it. So I was thinking I, I'll go to some local spots and see if they'll just sell me a battery for the phone without doing the fix. Because I know I can get it off Amazon with the tools for like 15, 20 bucks. So if they'll just sell me a battery for like 15 or 20 bucks, I'll just buy it. It'll be a little bit more than Amazon, but if they have one in stock I can buy, I'll probably just buy it. And then I'll have a cell phone for seven days. And then, you know, if that's all working out, see now there's like someone stopping right over there. So I have to like try to look over, but not stare too hard, ascertain like, what are they doing? Are they? Are they stalking me like a mountain lion or are they just doing their own thing? They just happen to be close, like trying to record this <laughs> mental overload. Like see how hard it is just to never mind edit, never mind write a description, never mind go in and moderate comments, never mind go in and check the email, never mind all these functions that a creator must do just to have a computer, just to have a phone just to record a video and also that sort of logical breakdown with dependencies is how urban camping pro my survival guide is structured so there's the basics without electricity and there's the luxuries with electricity the book is open source and free forever so i'm not like trying to like have this whole brand just to sell a free book right like there's a pre-sale thing where you can contribute to it and give me incentive to get it done but yeah so hopefully hopefully some of the community features and email and stuff will come online momentarily so now someone's like pulling up perfect time to end the video but it's like you know what i'm saying like look at look at how crazy this video was to make thankfully we're at the end thanks for joining us thanks for contributing if you have can I even remember all the things I need to say at the end? Keeping in mind we got eight seconds left. Cognitive overload. Perfect video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Looking forward to seeing you next time.